Who's that? This is our view at breakfast. Looking over the water and the rest of the resort. And the breakfast buffet behind me. Okay. This is the properties on the left and the right, and that is the breakfast and dinner area in the middle. And the resort stretches all the way down the beach. The dock. It's gorgeous. Apparently, the sand flies can be really bad. We haven't had too many issues with them yet, but we also haven't spent much time on the beach. It's a bit of a mix of weather right now. We've got some nice uh, sun, so we're gonna try and catch some sun by the pool before we lose it to rain, because in the distance, ah. for sure, a big thunderstorm storm coming. Sorry, but we'll see. So we're gonna enjoy some sun by the pool. You see, the sun above us is beautiful right now, but out there, it's all looking pleasant. We're trying to absorb a little bit of rays before that comes over here. But right now we've got this. It's lovely. Surreal to me. How you make me feel wild and calm at the same time. So so far our day has been pretty chill. We have been hanging out in these little sort of eggshell things <laughs> and enjoying the pool and the sun. It's been an absolutely gorgeous day. We had a bit of a storm roll in, but it rolled in and out, and then it's just been sunny all day. Uh, the only other thing that's been really annoying is the sand flies. They just are such little pests. They're constantly nipping at you, and Katie's got bite marks all over her legs. So, 33 on one leg. Um, so, I would highly recommend using a good strong DEET or some sort of bug spray just to sort of keep them off of you. Uh, after we sprayed that on, we've been fine, but it's just a gorgeous view you can see. So from the edge of our eggshell here, it's just, we're just looking out over beautiful water, sun, and I am sitting here doing some work, and it is just incredible. This has been a little bit of a couple days to recharge for us after having some busy days, and we're going to embrace it. So the property itself is laid out like three, four houses deep. So the front houses have the beach front, and then you've got the beach view as you go back, and then they've got a mix of king bedded rooms, double bedded rooms, rooms with a pool. But if you're gonna get a room with a pool, for sure get the beachfront ones, because the other ones in the back that aren't beachfront are quite far back, and you can't actually see the beach quite as well, so it would kind of be a, a bit of a bummer. For the fitness fanatics, there is a gym here. It's not bad, it's got a Smith machine. Dumbbells up to 22 pounds, which isn't that great, but it's not bad. And then a cable machine over there. Then we have Katie here, demoing how not to use equipment. And then we have a bikes, elliptical, treadmill, and it's BYOM. We have brought our own music because there's nothing here to listen to otherwise. They also, life hack, have some free waters in the fridge, although we're going through those and eventually going to use them all up. Hopefully they restock it. It's raining, but it is beautiful out. Sun is setting, clouds, palm trees. So down at the poolside here, you've got this restaurant, it's a chill restaurant. And they do sort of like lunch and then dinner in the high season or some nights of the week. It's Katie. Then you got a whole bunch of properties that are up and behind here. And then the pool, which is an infinity pool, overlooks the beach. Just a nice little setup. It's a little cloudy now, but the sun is set. It's a gorgeous evening. All right, so we are heading in to grab some dinner probably and just sort of relax the rest of the evening and then maybe go for a swim again later. Had a beautiful day. What did we do all day? Nothing. No, that's not, well, we can't. And laid in the sun and- I can't. I saw what a terrible job I did applying sunscreen to Mark's back. No, I actually did some work, but we did do a lot of relaxing. 
by the pool, which is nice. It just sort of shut off, as I said earlier, but it's pretty cool. So the resort's actually still kind of in construction. There's some parts that they're still working on, um, but it's no, no nothing, shortcomings. I was gonna say, and it's nothing that like, you can't tell other than just seeing it. Like there's nothing that's not available or not ready. Um, yeah. yeah, it's nice. It's good. This is the dinner restaurant, and also the same place where they have breakfast. It's quite nice, it's white tablecloth. Very fancy dinner. Wow, I look like I got some Sunday. Really look like I got some Sunday. Doesn't matter where I go. Uh, dinner itself was really good. We both had a pasta, and the pasta was amazing. We had some bread with a bunch of sort of toppings you get with the bread as well. Um, they have a whole Western menu and they've got a local food menu. Um, it's quite expensive, but it's sort of relative to the resort. And it's a really nice experience. They also have a that casual restaurant we showed you earlier where you can have dinner some nights of the week and in high season it's every night. Um, so you sort of have the options, but right now there's only about five or six rooms in the entire resort. So this is the only restaurant for dinner because there's no point in staffing both. But it's beautiful. How was your dinner? Really good. The tarps. All right, we had an enjoyable morning. We had a great breakfast, sunny, and hung out in the room a little bit and just stared at the water. But now the clouds have kind of rolled in after we came outside. Um, it's kind of a mix of good and bad weather. We we're hunkered down with towels on us because a rainstorm is passing through and our dearest egg here is not providing enough protection. But we had delicious frozen fruit. I yeah, had frozen fruit and a frappuccino. And now we weather the storm. As you can see, the weather changes in a flash here. And it's beautiful right now. Uh, the sun is currently out. Clouds out there look like they might maybe misty rain again. But it just changes in 10 to 15 minutes all the time. We're just trying to soak up our time in the sun before we start sightseeing again all day for the rest of the trip. Until we hit Bali. They smoke the place for mosquitoes to try and keep the mosquitoes down in the area. And it's really cool, so we're just trying to avoid the, the big smoking gun. I don't know if I'd want to be breathing that in or not, but I'm thinking probably not. Hope your door's closed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here or subscribe to our other channel over here.